Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we will be going over some of the best highlights from every matchup during day 7 of the world's 2023 Swiss stage. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. Very important game for both of these teams. Such a meaningful series here with both of these teams going through their struggles like you said already in the tournament. Uh, game of course coming through play-ins, dropping early, but then being able to still... Oh, it's a good trade. Pallet's so low already, that's 100 HP. Ignite is ticking on him when he get away! Oh, oh, Void Seekers and nothing first! Showmaker still has flash though, so it's pretty hard to actually get the kill there. That's another stun landing. There's <laughs> already the plasma built up, killer instinct! Oh. Living up to its name as Death takes his second of the game. Oh man, this Gam bottom lane. Remember, this is the part of the team that was added most recently. After MSI, Kellen's not done. Slater able to dodge to the side, has hit six, has that lightning crash if he wants. It continues to put the damage down on Death. Death trying to trade <laughs> back in. Slater flashes away, but Canyon's here! And the Dragon's Rage is enough to secure the kill. So insanely strong that even if Deft, if they overinvest, I think that's the one trap that Gam can't fall in, is overinvest into trying to kill Deft. Showmaker's got a big flank here coming from the back. They gotta know he's there though. Yeah, Kati spots him out. Everfresh. Sure. The knockup. Kana doesn't quite hit. Flames bit are coming out. Kellen goes in and immediately the Kellen comes on the back line. Charm coming out as well and Kellen's already down. Slater gets his first of the game alongside Gam's first. Kellen, but I want to see if Dalmon can now force it on the dragon as Showmaker goes for the one v one for the Rude Apps Gondak Doug. The shockwave stolen by Kati. The flash burn from Showmaker. Close Sterics for Levi. So Gam gonna try desperately. If they can get a team fight win here, it could be what stabilizes the game for them. And with this team fight comp, that could Kellen. be enough. Kellen looking for the flank. Dragon already down to 5,000 HP. Canyon looking for the kick as well as Pallet has to back away. Levi on that front line looking for the steal. Could jump in here. Canyon comes back in. EQ flash. The equalizer on the back line as well as Death's already low, but Cannon dives in. Slater trying to do what he can already. The dragon's down to DK. Get the soul. Kiai are forced away. Levi goes in with a cataclysm, but he just doesn't have the damage to work his way through Death. DK win the fight and they get the soul to boot. Oh, yeah. Too far forward. He can join in a moment's notice. And as mentioned, with that Rage Blade, Nash is going to go up in seconds. Yeah, I don't think Levi has time to spawn and get there. So it's going to need a miracle for Gam to steal. They can four on five try and just force them off with a fight. What are you going to do? Just walk at them? Yeah. That's what they're trying right now. But Shockwave, I'm, honest, maybe? Not most effective strategy I've ever seen as Canyon secures the Baron and Kiaya pays for it with his life. All right, let's a 1,000 gold lead with the Dragon Soul, with the Baron buff. And they've still got a minute and 20 seconds left on this Baron buff. They keep going. Yeah, Showmaker going in. Kiaya just burst out by death. Showmaker puts an equalizer down himself and pops the stopwatch so he doesn't go pop underneath the tower. Inhibitor tower already down. His death flashes forward. Slater with the lightning crash, but the shield from the Guardian for Pallet does not arrive in time. Now Pallet dancing away as Canyon looks for the kick. Dash away from Levi and DK are just pushing in on three separate fronts. All right. That's going to be two inhibitors down and probably looking for Nexus now. Slater down for 27 seconds, Kiaya down for 20. D-plus looking to end game one. Levi puts the Cataclysm down, but it's really just a jacuzzi for DK as they boil him in the midst of it. The kickback as well. A bit of showmanship there from Canyon to end this one out. 26 minutes is all it took for DK to once again defeat a team a lower ranked than them. And it might not be his birthday, but Death to me really stepped up. Super scared for that 2v2. Oh, yeah. Leeson is very good at ganking Akali, can show up in the shroud as as is Ari. So I definitely expect D plus to have to weigh the dragon. You can just Leeson Q onto the dragon, avoid the scuttle crab, as can Hex Flash avoid that scuttle crab vision. So D plus in payment for a Nocturne gank on top side that only resulted in both top laners blowing their flashes, they will get objective number one for the game. I think that is a pretty going. It makes it a lot harder for Gam to play around it. You can see DK's bot lane already moving up. Slater still down in that bottom lane as well. No flash on Kana as Kati finds the flank. The equalizer down, but already it looks like Kana will be the first to fall. First blood. Over to Gamma's now, Pallet continues to trade. Showmaker dashing in with the Spirit Rush. Kati dashing out towards the top side, but Kia is now caught in the midst of three members of D plus Kia, and he'll fall. 1-1 one, one so far in the trade. Will Kati get out or will Showmaker Q, find Q, Q, him? Q. Oh. Kobe crying next to me. Is up right now. 
Conti's going to E backwards, and they're going to continue burning this one down. Kind of looking for a rumble ult. The Toad used in the mid lane. Pallet looks for Hex, Flash, Hook, can't quite land. It equalizes down on Pallet, and he is sitting, and his world is on fire as the ground burns beneath his feet. An immediate engage by Kellen as well as Kati tries to dodge away Kiaya, trading in, but there's no one to follow up with any damage of any sort for Gam. Kana chased off towards the bottom side, but it's Gam who are doing the retreating, and it's Showmaker who will not stop chasing forward. Slater. Forced away under the tower, and D plus Kia just wipe away the fight. That is except all of the game. They have control of all the lanes. They have control of the objectives, and they haven't taken a tower yet. There is so much gold on the on the map for them. As Canyon looks for the kickback, Levi Sonic Wave still hits. Levi will escape underneath this tower, but has to burn the flash. Oh, is that Showmaker takes him with the Leandri's burn? I must assume. Let's get another look at that one. <laughs> And that's what Gam, unfortunately, is on the receiving end of. And I feel like the previous game, they were able to hold on a little bit more as Deft. Flash knockup from Pallet, but I don't think you win these. Kellen was waiting in the wings, the double stun with the shadowing strike. And Slater trying to get away will burn his flash. Pallet engaged, but he runs the wrong way around the rift to get taken out by Deft. Every time they've tried to react in the past, T plus Kier have been able to oh, we're going for fight it. back. And there's the TP. I like the gusto from Gam. Can they die as warriors? Will they fight it to the last? The hook comes in onto Cannon. The knockback as well. The equalizer already used the paranoia comes out. The dive onto the back line. Oh. Shut down on death. And now Gam starts to open up. Cannon trying to walk into the pit. Maybe just escaping on a fraction of his HP. But Showmaker has had enough. He will smash the smiles off their faces as he cleans up the fight. And he saves Kellen by killing off the Nautilus. Huge showmaker with the the international stage. Ooh, the poke actually uh, being relevant here because of the build that was mentioned earlier uh, with that Leandris, and we'll see. This is kind of all or nothing. You can't give over that soul. That's on the hunt. Cannon going in. Kiaya trying to dive onto Cannon, pulls him back with the all out, and Palace there as well. Cannon will fall, but already we see Pala going down as well as Carti has to jump away. Kiaya flashing out of here as well. Levi already dead. Kiaya on his last legs and those legs might be ripped from under him as the charm misses, the orbit deception misses, but the boomerang blade enough to vision and double teleport available. There's no way that they should actually be able to get it. We'll see if Showmaker and Khan are willing to teleport over, but it looks like yeah, Gam also don't want to take the risk. Watch as you said, Kobe, to escape any possible shenanigans. And now this bot lane turret getting sieged up. There's full vision around the bottom half of the map, so DK feel very safe here. Is a TP ward available here? We'll see if Gary wants to go for it. There we go. Kevin going in with the Magnus Storm. Kiai already down to half HP. Can't even go all out. Not even just this once as a double kill already happens. Kati trying to cut the wave, but the TP comes out as well. Kana's coming down too to finish the job. Everybody wants in on the picture. Ten seconds left on Kiai. The Baron buff over. 50 seconds here, and... When you have double cannons, you have the range, but those cannons actually don't let you walk up close enough to the tower to auto it yourself. DK. Here come the bronze! As Canyon <laughs> dives in! Kati kicked back and shuts out of the fight. DK already found two, they're looking for more, they're looking for three, they're looking for four! As Kiaya falls for the double for death. The fountain, the only hope the oh! Slayer has! But that hope is shut out! By a boomerang blade from death, the infernal soul doing its work as DK secure their spot in the next round. And D plus continue their insane great frontline, great engage. But if the LNG comp finds an early lead and you get to just continually engage with this uh, combination of Charzan and Scout going into the enemy backline. You don't get to play the game, having a lot of early bots. Charzan's done a more conventional clear, so he is about two camps ahead of Cuz right now. And for KT, this game kind of becomes uh, how can you make sure aiming is having an okay game? And even if he Flash, oh. knock up, knock back, Cuz is here for the twisted advance, and Hong has been hanged out to dry by KT. Well, there you go. Uh, that, 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 the whole oh, hands. Flash, <laughs> in front of the hands! He stood still! I am dead sure Chronicler was about to praise you and then...
look at the experience graph. I really want to see the gold graph for AD carries right now, though, because you mentioned the kill going over to Alistar yeah. with the Ignite Tick, and Gala for sure being able to get one hit his one directly, plus the CS lead, plus the turret plate. But mid lane does flashes forward, twisted advance, pop blossom, but pop goes the Nico as KT strike again. And cut. Time. Yes. Ooh, and too so busy CSing to count the minions. Lane swap to come through here. Can they get something going? And Zika still has flash and has a ward to jump away and alongside a control ward. You can see Kuz on his way. The ignite going down onto Zika. There's the leap strike to start it off. Flash, counter strike, knock back. Zika oh. dodges away from the nature's grasp but now has nothing at his disposal to escape the clutches of KT. Apart from another jump over the wall. I will think he's a little penned in here. Probably just gonna die to the tower. Who gets the kill? He doesn't! <laughs> he's got the blow! No way! He, he did it! Out. Oh, he's Zika, out! You beautiful madman as he escapes in the top lane! He's actually out! And KT, I didn't think they were gonna regret that headbutt. End of the map, where now, even with Harold going over to KT, the first turret buff actually goes with the LMG and they're trying to strike back. He's back. charges in the tower, doesn't quite fall as Tarzan goes in with the EQ flash. Chase continues, Zika looking for that counter-strike, still cleanse a flash available for aiming as the Hens acts as a bodyguard, counter TP behind them now as the Twisted Advance goes forward, KT looking for a little bit more, Tarzan flags and drags into the bush but there's no escape for him, only Zika, the Houdini of the Rift can get away but this time, shut down again today, four kills for KT as they get the tower in the top lane as well. <laughs> it's merely a delayed death. It's been in bot lane for like a good minute, that's a lot of minions just Going hey, they're, to waste. they're going about their own devices, okay? Let the minions do their thing. Well, but then th we don't contest in the end. We can just send Zika down to bot and, and yep. he a teleport. You know, he can pressure a turret and either KT get Herald, but you get an inner and you accelerate your jacks. And Eco KT, I think, just investing in the mid lane. Rift held at least coming down. Keen gonna push out that wave as well, aiming on his way to join his teammates, his comrades in arms. Adult. He gets the old down and is stolen by Kaz. How on earth do you land that smite in the midst of the fight? And Kaz, he might have his inconsistencies, but this man at smite fights is ice cold. You still want Tarzan as your jungler in solo queue, Kerry? <laughs> <laughs> Point. I mean, honestly, yeah. I, they've, like, they've, why would you? They've got that pretty good a summoner push. of aiming. Oh. That would be big. Oh. Aiming, respecting it. He Main knows. jump has come down. Zika coming from one side. The counter strike flashed away. Aiming able to survive, and now Zika caught underneath the tower, tanking tower shots for days as aiming the Super Mega Death Rocket, not enough, but he still gets the kill. Mid lane tower falls, why fight, you say, Chronic Low? Well, to kind of maybe dive aiming. Oh, then LNG's here as the Baron has been begun, the TP Nico. behind as well. They're looking for that flank position as Scout could find all five. Scout goes in, the Pop Blossom lands and down goes aiming. Meanwhile, Keen going to bring Tarzan back into the fight. He's got the Renata bailout to try and bring him back to life. And that will do exactly what it's meant to do in a fight like this. The TP coming in from Zika as he looks to join the break. KT trying Pop to fight, gun. but will they live another day? Kaz has a blast cone, his last ally in this defense of the Baron. BDD trying to put the damage down from... They oh, should be able LNG to get it. going to pull the trigger. Yeah. I mean, maybe they're trying to pull... KT into the fight as BDD looks for something. Dragon down. Hex flash in by Lahens, but they don't know that Scout is here. KT in arrears in terms of their map awareness as Keen is locked up with a pop blossom and now BDD in the middle of LNG. He manages to survive. Scout doing everything he can to keep his team alive. Garlem on the back line, unable to approach as Scout will fall as well. Two to KT alongside the dragon. KT get the dragon, they get the double kill and they're gonna push straight down mid lane. Aiming is getting an ECG. If you got that, you're in a sisterly and uh, someone's gonna be applying CPR pretty rapidly. Again, one of the biggest knock-on effects from that last fight was Keen and Lehens getting both summoners off Gala. Let's see if they can that punish him so now. low already. Look at where Kuz is. That Baron might be gone before Kuz can even get in. And there's the hostile takeover coming out as well. The root being used for the nature's grasp, but Hung able to survive. And now KT on the back foot. Good knockback with the Pathmaker as Tarzan retreats to his team. But look at the shurikens and look at Kuz's head. How far? Just get ripped to shreds. The Pop Blossom finds aiming as well, but he has that flash cleanse back up. The Cataclysm, enough to find the kill as LNG advance. And an unending march from LNG as KT can only stand and watch as their cow is mown down. They can go for it.
by KT, but LNG pounce once again. And this is a blue side loss. If KT are unable to hold on here, 10 seconds on the hands to 15, 14 on aiming. Oh, I think they can hold. The first Nexus Tower falls, but it, D, BDD does have the poke. Yeah, they can hold Do on. they re-engage? Do you have a TP anywhere? BDD has Black one if he wants to look for the flank. Great block, as you say, with the shape shifter. And LNG oh. retreat. Only one. KT are pushing out topside. Yeah, it looks like it's it's not going to be anything taken in trade for this dragon. They're just trying to usher up aiming, get as oh, much no, money no, as no, they no, can no. possibly Don't do this, don't do this to me. Don't do this nah, to me. Nah. Okay. Smart play by LNG to back away from it, make sure it couldn't be sold. And it was at 3k as well, so I don't think it would have done. Game, uh, Lord Doms is going to provide you with so much value, given that there's no... AP damage as oh. the hands hex flash in. They get onto Gala, but they don't have the follow up right now. Aiming trying to put the damage down as Scout is going to join the fray from the oh. side. It's a five man. Only the stopwatch stop BDD from being ripped apart. But Gala will follow up with a shutdown onto the enemy mid. The chase continues here for LNG Keen trying to get away the counter strike. Aiming able to flash away from it, but the counter strike still finds one sicker was looking for another leap strike there. You could feel he felt the call of the cube, Ooh. and now LNG will turn to out of the way, and then they should be fine no matter what. He's aiming. They know he's it's firing. gonna get caught. It's yeah. taken. That play though, KT trying to set up a brush surprise play without keeping track of Scout. I want to highlight Scout again. This man does so much flanking with the Nico. So while they engage on Nagala, there's no damage follow up on Nagala, no real threat onto him. And Scout gets to come in for a massive, massive pot blossom. And from then forward, LNG unstoppable, running them down. Yeah, BDD gets like killed in free autos by Gala. Long trying to mount some sort of last bastion of defense, but the defense has been found wanting so far. LNG continue to push forward. Yeah, they're not going to stop here. Baron Buff, a full minute left, and Gala, He's he wants blood. Can Keen hit confirm? He needs the Q3. He's building up towards it. Gala may be overstepping, but does still have the flash to cleanse. Zika takes a little bit of HP. There's a hit and confirm onto Gala. But can they put the damage down? Gala almost into his GA, but he survives with the redemption and with the hostile takeover. And you just can't kill Gala when he's in this sort of form. The Super Mega Death Rocket goes right, and now LNG already got one kill on the board. Keen down. The Nexus Tower short to follow as LNG turn their eyes towards the Nexus. They don't even need to kill off KT. They've done it on the rift already. LNG 1 0. It's also something that KT have played throughout the entire year that they have been great on. To me, though, the main thing from a KT perspective is will Keen finally show hit the, the four area hasn't been spotted yet? Yeah, it looks like he's going to reveal himself soon, and Jarvan is heading topside for the gank. Spotted now. Tarzan has been spotted. Keen, where are you going to go? How do you slip your way out of this one? We saw the dancing shoes from Zika in game one. Keen might just try and trade in the counter strike, slice and dice away. The flash follow from Zika, and it's a solo in the top lane. Didn't so, even need the help. I think the help helped a little bit. <laughs> And I really do feel for top laners, in, you know, in those types of scenarios. I know I'm super jungler biased, but oh, that, wait, doesn't that's know. big. That's, he doesn't know. <laughs> he doesn't know. He is unaware as he flashes away. The hook connects. The Riptide as well as Gala's being chased under the oh. tower, and Gala is Gonzo in the bottom lane. And the uh, comedic acting duel of aiming and hand strikes again. Gala sees that uh, that W fly towards me. He's like, that's fine. I don't I don't need to take that damage. Not knowing that Lahan's sitting there quietly in the brush, cackling as Keen does have his ultimate. Dominus comes out. There's the Ruthless Predator as well. No counter strike for Zika as he used it for the first stun. The call to meet the Zika. Jump away with the lead strike, and Keen does not want to go any further. Tarzan is on this side of the map. Keen, all right. At least gets the interrupt here. But there we go. KT will grab it. Yeah, really, not much LNG can do with Zika being interrupted. They can't even make the TP play as the hand is looking for something. Oh, the blood so good. Oh, that was absolutely gorgeous. A bloody beautiful play by KT as they get the cherry on top of their Drake. Oh, I love it. Let hands goes over to lock him up, and the blood W's him to the other side of the blast cone. Instantly taken down. Now they're turning it up. KT on the warpath. As the Weavers will knock back by the Empress Divide, but Tarzan on the wrong side of the wall and on the wrong side of the Death Chamber. And these are the type of 
tempo speed ups that KT really uh, pretty safe as far as mid laners go in the side lane and Silver always loves to plant herself really early on in mid lane here to be able to perma farm. With this better so there, I think it's gonna come down just afterwards. Dominus now used with the TP out from Scout. This is the dragon ah! sacrifice, but Keen unable to flash over the wall as Scout finds his mark. Tarzan and Gala forced towards the top side as well. This should be Rift held in the mid lane, maybe even the tower falling. In fact, the tower definitely will fall, looking at its health bar now, and then KT can work their way down towards the dragon and a bot tier one. A tier one in the bot lane should be traded as Gala. Perfect timing on the spell shield there. The Rift Hell still gets his charge in. Yeah, also doesn't fall. In terms of his pacing up towards a fight. If Keen TPs, often he'll push up towards them and then TP away. Now the control was gone, so my point is moot, but it helped for a little while, okay? You, you also see that the trial. Oh, Cuz. Cuz, able to dash away. Solar Flare on Cuz as well, still has the flash, but he's dashed into. He tries to flash the wall, but can't get away already. Tarzan's down. Cuz surviving the Radiant Virtue. Keeping him just about alive, he escapes, and Tarzan is the one to fall. Oh, die! What are your options? Control Ward now in, spots the hens, the pixel bush. As KT BDS continue as to do the Baron, Tarzan trying to get in, but he's depth charged up. The Baron down to a thousand. The smite comes out from Kaz, and now Zika on the front line. Kin looking for the engage from the side. BDD going in as well with Weaver's wall, and it funnels LNG into a choke point, but the Blast Cone helps them out for a second. Aiming, looking for that killer instinct, can't quite find it. Kaz gets the knock up onto Zika, but the Counter Strike comes out. Gala trying to open up, but he's separated from the rest of LNG. Hung, now he here. rejoins them. Hung has joined the fray, but Gala has been sent packing back to the bouncing. The Emperor's Divide comes out with the killer instinct in by Aiming. Counter Strike cleanse, and Aiming continues to dash at the dance and to weave his way around. LNG and Chronic will be damned. I'm damn well excited now. Easily, so KT is able to catch out Gala now. 5k, Red Bull, Baron Powerplay coming through here. Skeen's trying again. TP behind here, Keen's gonna force Zika down towards the bottom side. BDD has the Weaver's Wall, but do they know that this TP's come in? They do, but Scout already running in the opposite direction. Zika falls, KT, 10. Falling, uh, inhibitor, sorry, falling low in the mid lane. Down to a third HP, should be taken by KT. The wave in the top lane pushed in by Keen. Wave in the bot lane, not being played on at all. Only two lanes the priority here for KT. I like this positioning as well, just gives you that little bit of extra impetus, just making sure LNG can't get close enough to their tower. Lehens goes in, the depth charge out, but Gala's low already. Gala almost falling, the killer insignia in by aiming, and he dodges away from Scout. Emperor survived, not enough, because aiming is aiming for gold with his stopwatch. A double for BDD, Zika. The last man standing, and he'll do his hooting pressure once again. But there's no way out of these handcuffs for LNG, as they are being locked into game three. Oh, and as sweet as aiming Skysa is getting all these kills, man, BDD Talia here, so much work in this game. That one, of course, you get the setup. From uh, is able to, to farm up grass stacks, kind of go from there. But meeting LNG in the place where they're most comfortable, even though when you look at the comps, I would give the edge. Scout uh, come LCK. So uh, maybe they start. Oh, this Those is. Endeavors. <laughs> the hand's going to get knocked up. The glacial fish, uh, glacial augment slowing oh. him down. Has to flash away. Does still have the hex flash ignite used by Hung, but that's the trade of summoners you'll take every day of the week for LNG. The, the, the buff that they did a long time ago to shorten that reset timer, but we're gonna have a it's bottom a nice. side play. Here we go. Yeah, Gala and Hung think they've backed because it's a cannon wave, and that's exactly when KT would go back. Hung locked up. Looking for Q, knock up here, flash Q. Great play there by Lahans. Hung's ticking down, and the E from Cards finds the kill. Just continue to gain mid priority. You can see Gala moving first, aiming having to push out the wave. Now Hung dives into the pit, and <laughs> Cuz respects the fact that the reaction from LNG was coming. Yeah, Vi with the W is able to pretty easily take Dragons early on, but I like the response as well from Hung, knowing that Lahens is towards the mid lane. Do note, Tarzan is level 6, but just a little bit too late. And, and it's good from, from KT. What Lahens and Hung have done over the last couple of minutes, which is push through mid, get Pryo, join up with your jungler, go into the enemy jungle, place a couple of wards, and then the enemy support resets, pushes through their own jungle, clears out as many wards as they can as Gala falls low, the root coming out, the Moonlight Vigil, Gala has the heal, manages to escape, Cease and desist, they want to stop Gala! 
And once again, excessive force used by Cars to take the kill. Once again, immaculate play from the bottom lane. Wait, they're not done. We see Tarzan coming down through the river, but BDD trucks. You might be able to kill the Renekton, but if you try to flip that, uh, oh, they're going to fight it. That is all. Oh. This is why they're saving the call of the Forge God as well, Kin. Now in a good position to flank Emperor's Divide onto Scout, the knock up against the wall, and everything's coming up. KT! Scout tries to get away, but the Ram rams him into an early grave. A sicker joins the Brave in a 2v1. He's trying to fight against BDD. The slice, the dice, the Dominus not enough. Sicker can't find his man. Tarzan flashes through it, but even he can't get onto BDD as KT disengaged perfectly. Whoa! BDD is a magician! He lives! Absolute master. And your auto attack a little bit, but just on. Oh! Tarzan steals away the Drake, and now the fight begins as Kaz is low. The quickness coming out of Gala diving in. Kaz already down to 200 HP. The season assist does get the knockup, but already Kaz has fallen. BDD now chased out, and no escape for him this time. LNG have just flipped this game on its head. Tactical replay there. Come out of it, and LNG just. To not let them rest. And LNG, you know, they might be a team that has a reputation for biding their time, but this 46. is such an incredible, I think, greed. Also, there there is no one else there for KT, right? Yeah. Everyone that can get there is already there, and KT clearly didn't expect this contest. I think KT will also... I think... I do agree with you. Yeah, 100%. I do agree with you as well, though, Chronicler. I think uh, if KT can just play a front-to-back, they do have the tools to do so, but the Shockwave lands still on Keen as the Flash is invested, and Keen will pay for his hubris of pushing out the lane with his life. And the big thing there is that you saw initially KT wanted to respond mid lane turret here. Does Gala respect her? TP. He does. TP, TP behind now as LNG look to they don't up know. the tempo of the game. The Dominus popped as aiming is going to meet the base of Zika here. Lahens trying to do everything he can to disengage for his AD carry. Flash Ruthless Predator. The cleanse away by aiming. Lahens already down. Aiming with the Severum doesn't even tickle Zika. Those scales stopping him from taking too much damage as BDD slides the wall. Cuz does a good job of body blocking his bot laner, Keen now TPing in mid, the Rift Hell still charging up that bottom lane and LNG continue to advance, oh, the charge oh, oh. away from Keen stopped unstoppable but not for much longer as LNG advance. Grey screen into teleport into grey screen, another one for Keen, he got picked on bottom side, Rift Herald almost finishes it, can Zika get there for the local gold as well, that's even... They will melt through it pretty quickly and LNG are calling KT to the fight, a Barney in the river as KT will start the dragon, but LNG have eyes on a much larger prize. The Baron already down to 7,000 HP, and once again, LNG have played ring around the Rosies. KT trying to get in here. The call of the Forge God will be brought down, but those prayers are answered for KT as LNG steal away the big purple worm. The engage now following KT. Shockwave will shock them all and silence the crowd here in Seoul. The hand sacrifices himself, but it's just not enough for KT, BDD tries to escape, oh, but Gala oh. will not have it! LNG sweep away KT! Five more seconds, you can hold on to the game. It feels like if your base is cracked, though, the game starts to slip away from your fingers, and Zika has that on his mind. He's pushing in mid, LNG distract KT once again with a push in the top lane, and now work their way as five towards mid. They get there first. Zika goes for this time. Tower Cars, dive! The charm, the quickness. Tarzan going in as well with the call of the Forge God. Scout able to flash away from it in time. BDD already down for the double kill. And now it's all on aiming. But purple and red are not the guns you want to see if you're a KT fan right now. The hens look through the flank. Double recall coming out for the TP immediately invested by LNG by Scout to re-engage the fight. Could this be it? I think that's going to be it. I think LNG are going to make their way towards quarterfinals here. Aiming gets the white guns with a shutdown, the shockwave. Aiming with a moment to pop a stopwatch to think about what's happened. But LNG do not give him a moment to breathe. It has been breakneck as LNG have broken the backs of KT and make their way to the quarterfinals. These were some of the best highlights from the world's 2023 Swiss Stage Day 7 matchups. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.